All right, in this video, I'm going to be giving you a little tip and trick on how to use the album artwork feature to replace the color dot column in Scratch Live 2.0. Now, as you should know, in Scratch Live, you have this little dot right here, and this basically lets you set the color of the track. Uh, so if you click the dot, that'll bring up the color palette, and you can assign a track uh, color. However, a lot of people have complained that the dot is really small, uh, which it is, and it's very hard to see, especially when you're playing in the club. And not only that, the colors themselves are very similar and very Easter pastel -y colors. People would much rather see brighter and vibrant uh, blues, greens, reds, yellows, etc. Uh, stuff like that. Uh, not only that, when you load a track that has a color assigned to it, it turns the virtual deck that color as well, which a lot of people don't like uh, either, and they would rather just have it keep it white. So, if you have no interest in using the new album artwork features and columns in Scratch Live 2.0, uh, why not use that instead of the color dot column? And this will give you a much bigger uh, color column, basically. And you can set the colors to anything you want. Now, basically what you're going to need to do is use a image editor software program like Photoshop or even something as simple as Microsoft Paint will uh, work well for this. I'm actually going to be using uh, C Short, which is a pretty much a paint clone for uh, Max. Basically, just create a new file and, and just set the pixels to, uh, it doesn't really matter, I just choose, chose 80 by 80. And basically, just use your fill tool and just start making uh, different color boxes. So, I'll make a blue one and just save it and whatnot and just repeat that again for other colors that you want. Uh, green, red, save that, purple, save that, etc, etc. Red, save that, save that. Okay, so... Now that you have a bunch of colors saved, uh, basically we're going to use those colors as the album artwork. Now I've already set this up, and basically I would recommend using the first uh, column album art mode, and basically this is how it's going to look. So now, uh, instead of having that little teeny tiny dot with the Eastery pastel colors, you can have a nice big solid color box with you know primary colors or whatever color you want. Uh, so this is good for, uh, you know, just organizing your tracks a different way. Uh, the colors are very arbitrary, and it's up to you to determine what the colors mean to you. Uh, you can use, you know, blue for uh, house and techno tracks, green for rap and hip-hop, uh, red for R&B, or, uh, you know, red for heaters and club bangers and peak hour tracks, yellow for uh, medium, uh, okay tracks, blue for chill and mellow tracks, whatever. So... Uh, the colors are very arbitrary and it doesn't matter and it's up to you to determine what the colors mean but uh, now if you have no interest in using the uh, album artwork column for displaying the actual album artwork you can use uh, that instead to uh, fill the album artwork column uh, with a solid color so basically you don't have those little tiny dots that you can't barely see and the eastery pastel colors uh, and if you want to get really crazy with this also, you can go to the setup menu and increase the album artwork size. And then you'll have huge boxes of color. Uh, so if you're really blind, um, you can do that as well. Uh, but that's a little too extreme for me, so I usually just keep it all the way down. Now also, uh, sorting by the album artwork is, I'm not sure how it does it. It seems rather arbitrary, and when you sort, it doesn't group them together, so... What I'd recommend is probably using one of the other columns that you don't use, like the grouping or, um, you know, the remixer column, whatever, and then, uh, you know, add the color and type the color in for that. So then you can actually sort by the colors like this. So, uh, so yeah, I mean, that's basically it. This is using the album artwork column instead of the color dot column in Scratch Live 2.0. And you're going to have to use the Embed Album Artwork feature uh, to embed the album artwork. See my other video on that and how to embed album artwork in Scratch Live 2.0. Uh, but here you go. This is one of my first tips and tricks with Scratch Live 2.0. Using the album artwork column instead of the color dot column.